I don't know. I think it was supposed to open. But we never did. I've never been there. I've never seen it. I've never been to any of these dog parks. I don't take the dogs to dog parks. You'll have to tell me in a second, uh, Molly, what, you know, what the dynamic is. I mean, what's going on inside the dog park there. County government, uh, this is what it's all about. This is where the priorities are. This is what we need, uh, the, the dog parks, parks for dogs. Close the libraries. Keep open the dog parks, the parks for the dogs. Uh, 704-570-1110. Mike, you're on News Talk 1110 WBT. Hello. Hey. Uh, I am, uh, in fair warning, I am operating a cell phone in a vehicle, so I'm um, to let you know. But be, one of these, be careful. I'm trying. Didn't one of these stories in the Observer mention something about the criminal record of the guy who brought this massive to the park? And I'm thinking, what has that got to do with this whole thing? You can't be serious. I, I'm, I'm not. Really? Well, I wish I could quote it, but... I've got them here. I'll look closer in at the story. Asked about whether the guy had a criminal record? They said something about his criminal record. He had some type of domestic issue going on, and they mentioned it about him. That's un- and, uh, unbelievable. And so what does that have to do with the two dogs and whether this woman should have brought her 12-pound dog to the big dog section of the dog park? This goes along with their prism of uh, how they're interpreting the story, I guess. And that's exactly... Boy, Mike, you just said it. Um, thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Take care. All right, put down the cell phone, drive the car. Um, it, ex- it, it is exactly... A story that they're trying to tell and create a prism of a story. They're trying to make some sort of a point here. The uh, we, we've all gone nuts. This is crazy. The the thinking and the state of mind that is shown in this incident between these two dogs, the big mastiff that killed the little twelve pound Chihuahua Terrier, which is terrible, but the thinking of the people and the way the media and primarily the observer is handling this is insane. Did you see anything in these stories? Well, I only had read Sundays and there wasn't anything in that, but there might be. I think there were two other stories, correct? Since yeah, there's then? three, and I didn't think that I had seen anything about... Yeah, like, why are they... It is there? Yeah, I saw it. Mark saw it? I saw it on Monday. Well, here, you can look through these and see if you can... In the, um... Figure this out. Because, yeah. I, 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 you know, I don't... It, wh- and why is it now supposed to be changes at the dog park... Uh, the dog's death not in vain. You know, there's nothing to this other than a woman put her own dog, and I'm sorry for her, I'm not trying to be mean, but she put her dog in, in a ridiculous position for a little tiny dog to be put in. There are rules at the dog park. Um, they're listed. It's not a lot of upkeep for the dog park. They build it, and then it's there. And... And the rules listed... Oh, wait a minute. So now you're defending the existence of the dog park. No, what I'm doing is telling you about the dog park because you said you hadn't been there. Dog owner and dog park frequenter... Actually, not anymore. Don't you know? You because there isn't a lot of upkeep, so I don't go very much You don't much need anymore. to defend the dog park. I'm not defending anything, Keith. I'm explaining because you asked about it. You, you don't need to defend the dog park now. You've got your own estate for your own uh, dog. You don't need to care about the dog park for the peasants anymore. Charlotte's News Talk, 1110 WBT at 99.3 FM at WBT.com. Planes fuel. Are we good to go? Yeah.